Yeah, Barry Pride's someone that everyone already knows. So I knew as a character, I'd, I'd seen him in the old days when he's running up and down the touchline. So it was something I expected to see, just a bubbly character. But I, what I didn't realise is he was like that every single day for the whole time I was there, which I don't know how much energy this yeah. guy has. If I think about it, just for what happened, I mean, Peterborough, we played in the playoff final, Old Trafford. That is sort of the place uh, where it took me where I thought, yeah, this is this is nice. You know, we, we went there, nice hotel before the game in Manchester. And then the whole atmosphere build up to the playoff final at Old Trafford was just something unbelievable, especially where where our gaffer was the son of the manager, you know, the Manchester United manager. He was like fate, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. What it brought to the day, I think, just the perfect time. I'll never forget that. He probably had the keys to the stadium anyway. He probably could have just let you in at any moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we trained that. We actually trained that day training ground as well. So we had the advantage in that in that sense. You know, we we sort of weren't known in the town, and he he literally was was calling the shots everywhere he was walking. So perfect. When I was at Gillingham, the banter was, you know, it was just past the line sometimes, you know. It, it was, so it was, uh, it was very, very, very good. And you got, you got to be a bit ruthless to be involved in that banter. I mean, it was like, you know, your car can go missing at any time. It was just, what? it went a bit hide funny. your car. Yeah, there was there was things like people hiding cars. There was you'd find things in your car. Someone would hide in your car as you're driving. They're scaring you. So it was. It was, it was Did you do any ridiculous. of the scaring? Were you involved? <laughs> no, because a lot of people expected me to be involved. So I've sort of egged other people to do it, and then I was there with a the camera recording. <laughs> I mean, he was non-stop. It was just ridiculous. But from the off, I mean, you get in the morning already. You just you don't know, you don't know what to expect. You know, he, he was he was just unbelievable, and he'd, he'd do it to anyone. So it could be he could do the same banter he would do to the YouTube to the gaffer. You know, it was it was actually relentless. <laughs> On international duty, I mean, it's it's different because the cultures are different. So I've got a lot of players from Belgium, a lot of players from Congo, a lot of players from everywhere, you know? So it was a lot different. And a lot of the players looked up to us out uh, here playing, you know, in England. So yeah. they probably wouldn't wouldn't cross the line as much, you know? But I mean, me, myself, I, I used to get out from the off. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it was always on. What was the atmosphere like before a game? Completely different, the opposite to here. So here, there's tension, there's... You know, people getting ready to get these three points, and then there's the rivalry between the two teams. Over there, I mean, it's like a carnival. What a <laughs> it's literally singing, dancing. We're, we're, we're singing on our way to games on the coach. So they, it was like unbelievable. So, I mean, the atmosphere, I mean, it's not as here they actually watch the game. Over there, I'm not sure they're watching the game or they're having a party while we're playing, you know? <laughs> so it was totally, totally different. Yeah, I mean, you know, Yusuf Malumbu, who you must know of, probably. Yeah. So he, he was always out dancing. Yeah, Janet Velassi, who's the biggest character sort of I know. So he, he was out there dancing. I gave one or two little shapes, so I weren't the best. <laughs> well, you say you give one or two shapes. I've seen you in a music video <laughs> for five seconds. <laughs> hey, explain that to me. Well, I was um, I was good mate to Dizzy Rascal from a young age. You know, I played when I was at Leighton Orient. He was from the area, he's from both. So we were kind of the up and coming stars at the time. And we got together and we just, we hit off. So we've been friends for a very long time. And one day I was up at Stoke and he said, oh, I've got a music video, I need you to play a part. But he wanted me to do kick ups in the video. And I said, have you seen me play? You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that kind of player. So, so it took about 50 takes. I managed to do a few and catch it on my neck. And then, uh, yeah, he's got a part where he's got me dancing, but I, I definitely, I did not want to do it. I said to him, I did, and it's only because he's my mate and I did it. When you watch it back, did you not look and go, mate, I'm only in it for five seconds. Like, at least give me a bit more air time. <laughs> I mean, he had me filming from 10 in the morning to 10 in the evening and he gave me literally five seconds, you know? <laughs> so I was, thinking, I was thinking liberty of making me drive down from Stoke and give me five seconds. 2015 African Cup of Nations. Um, I mean, it was amazing. You know, we came third in it. 
um, which was unbelievable. So it w- that was probably the best trip I've had because we, you know, we faced players like Yaya Toure uh, in the semi-finals. So just to come against that sort of team, them sort of players, the atmosphere that was building up there, come, uh, seeing these players day to day as well in the hotels, it was definitely the best trip. And you probably had Yaya Toure in your pocket, right? <laughs> I did until he scored a volley. <laughs> I mean, you must love going international duty because nine times out of ten, the weather is going to be amazing and the food's probably going to be amazing. It's like a little mini holiday. Yeah, that, that is what it was. I mean, my managers were always thinking it's, I, I was hard done by, you know. They were saying, oh, yeah, we've got the international break, so I feel sorry for you when you come back, you rest. In my head, I'm thinking, I'm loving yeah, this. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely loving it. So I was in first class on my way down, and then I've got the trip, I've got the holiday, I've got the food, and then all I've got to do is play for 90 minutes. So, yeah, that's all right. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> I can actually eat at Christmas, you know? <laughs> that is, I've not had a proper Christmas dinner in 18 years. So now I can eat, I can drink, and enjoy a boxing day like everyone else. Mate, brilliant. You are an absolute legend. Uh, thanks for taking Thank the time you, to speak to me, Gabriel. Top man. <laughs> <laughs>